In this video, we're going to focus on solving a system of linear equations using the substitution method. So let's start with this problem. Let's say that y is equal to 2x plus 8 and y is equal to 5x minus 1. How can we find the value of x and y given these two equations? What we need to do is replace y with 5x minus 1 because they're equal to each other. So therefore, 5x minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 8. So now we have one equation with one variable, so we can go ahead and solve it. Let's add 1 to both sides. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so that's going to cancel. So we have 5x is equal to 2x plus 8 plus 1, which is 9. Our next step is to subtract both sides by 2x. 5x minus 2x is 3x, and that's equal to 9. Now the last thing that we need to do here is divide both sides by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, so this is the first part of the answer, x is equal to 3. Now that we have this value, we can plug it into the first equation, or the second, which will give you the same answer. So it's going to be 2 times 3 plus 8. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 8 is 14. So y is equal to 14. So if you want to write your solution as an ordered pair, you can write like this. It's going to be 3 comma 14. And so that's the answer. Now let's work on another example. Let's say that y is equal to 2 over 3x minus 4. And also y is equal to 1 fourth x minus 3 over 2. So it's very similar to the last problem, but this time we have fractions. So whenever you see two equations where y is equal to some function, you want to set these two equal to each other. It's basically the same as replacing this y with 1 fourth x minus 3 over 2. So 1 fourth x minus 3 over 2 is equal to 2 over 3x minus 4. So what can we do in order to solve this particular equation? The best thing to do is to get rid of all the fractions. We need to find the least common multiple of the denominators, 2, 3, and 4. What's the least common multiple between 2, 3, and 4? Well, we don't have to worry about 2 because multiples of 4 are the same as multiples of 2. Every multiple of 4 is a multiple of 2. So let's focus on 4 and 3. Multiples of 4 are 4, 8, and 12. Multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, and 12. So 12 is the common multiple between 2, 3, and 4. You can divide 12 by 4, by 2, by 3, and get a whole number. So let's multiply everything by 12. So 1 fourth x times 12. That's basically 12 divided by 4 times x. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So that's going to give us 3x. Now what's 3 over 2 times 12? 12 times 3 is 36. 36 divided by 2 is 18. You can also do it this way. Instead of multiplying 12 by 3, you can take 12 divided by 2, which is 6, and then multiply it by 3. And that will give you the same thing, which is 18. So what we have here is a negative 18. 2 thirds times 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 thirds of 12 is 8. And 12 times 4, that's 48. So now let's add 18 to both sides, and simultaneously, let's subtract 8x from both sides. So these will cancel. 3x minus 8x is negative 5x. Negative 48 plus 18 is negative 30. So if we divide both sides by negative 5, we can see that x is equal to positive 6. So now let's get rid of this stuff.
Now, all we need to do is plug in 6 into the first or the second equation. But let's use the first one. So let's replace x with 6. So what's 2 thirds of 6? 2 times 6 is 12 divided by 3, and that's 4. And 4 minus 4 is 0. So y is equal to 0. So in terms of x comma y as an ordered pair, it's going to be 6 comma 0. So that is the solution for in this example. Here's another problem. Let's say that 2x plus 5y is equal to 19. And also that y is equal to 3x minus 3. So the setup is a little different. But feel free to pause the video and try this example. Go ahead and find the value of x and y. So because we have y by itself in the second equation, we can replace y in the first equation with 3x minus 3. So thus we'll have this expression, 2x plus 5 times 3x minus 3 is equal to 19. So all we got to do is take this and insert it into, or replace y with that expression. So now let's distribute the 5. 5 times 3x is 15x, and 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So now let's combine like terms. 2x plus 15x, and that adds up to 17x. In our next step, we can add 15 to both sides. So we have 17x is equal to 19 plus 15, which is about 34. Next, we need to divide both sides by 17. 17 goes into 34 two times. Therefore, x is equal to 2. Now, once we have x, let's plug it into this equation because we already have y by itself. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. So y is equal to 3. So our answer as an ordered pair is 2 comma 3. And so this is the solution. Here's another similar problem. Let's say that 5x minus 4y is equal to 8. And also that y is 1 half x plus 1. Go ahead, take a minute and work on that problem. So just like before, we're going to replace y with 1 half x plus 1. So let's take this and put it in the first equation. So we're going to have 5x minus 4 times 1 half x plus 1. And that's going to equal 8. So now let's distribute the 4. 4 times 1 half is basically 2. So we're going to have negative 2x. Negative 4 times 1, that's negative 4. And now we could combine like terms. 5x minus 2x is 3x. And in the next step, we can add 4 to both sides. Eight plus four is twelve, and twelve divided by three is equal to four. So now that we have x, let's plug it into the second equation to get y. So y is going to be one half times four plus one. Half of four is two, and two plus one is three. So y is equal to three. So our solution is 3 comma, actually no, it's uh, 4 comma 3 rather than 3 comma 4. X is 4, Y is 3. So that's it. Let's try an example with three equations and three variables. So let's say that X plus Y plus Z is equal to 6 and Z is X plus 2 and Y is 2X. Use the substitution method to find the value of x, y, and z. So notice that we can replace z in the first equation with x plus 2. And we can replace y in the first equation with uh, 2x. So let's go ahead and do those things. So it's going to be x plus 2x plus x plus 2. 
and that's all equal to 6. So x plus 2x plus x, that's basically 4x. So 4x plus 2 is equal to 6. And now if we subtract on both sides by 2, 6 minus 2 is 4. And if we divide both sides by 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So therefore, x is equal to 1. Now, once we have the value of x, we can plug it in to these two equations to get y and z. So y is basically 2 times x, or 2 times 1. So y is 2. Now, we could find z. So z is uh, x plus 2, or 1 plus 2. Therefore, z is equal to 3. So as in, we can write it in terms of uh, like this, x comma y comma z. So it's 1 comma 2 comma 3. So that's the solution for this problem.